number one central document of China. What is it? Maybe you've never heard of it, but it matters to a lot of people. 550 million farmers. The number one central document outlines development goals for the agriculture sector. And then the government work out supporting policies and measures. Here in China, we're experiencing the largest and fastest paced urbanization in the world. Over the past 70 years, the ratio of rural population nearly halved. Over the past 40 years, the number of Chinese farmers living under poverty line has also dropped rapidly from 770 million to 5.5 million. What has pushed forward the change? It is the number one central document. And this year, the document says every person in rural China will be lifted out of poverty. How to better support farming communities? How to improve conditions and enhance lives for people living in rural areas? Since 2004, the number one central document has focused on addressing these issues. In other words, it aims at helping agriculture, rural areas, and rural people. This February, the latest document gives new instructions towards achieving that goal. China will focus on two major tasks, ending poverty and tackling deficiencies. Once accomplished, the country will be a step closer to achieving the goal of building a moderately prosperous society in all respects by 2020. First, how to implement the task of ending poverty? The premier focus is on the remaining 3 million people living in poverty and 50 plus poorest counties in the country. The target is to lift them all out of poverty this year. And then the government will focus on preventing people sleeping back into poverty, make the result real and lasting. Of course, completing these tasks doesn't mean the end of poverty alleviation. China knows it still has a long way to go. A long-term mechanism is needed and a strategy of rural revitalization will continue. Creating better rural conditions is the second task. Apart from the quantity of economic indicators, China also requires improved quality of life. Improving infrastructure and public services are the two most striking challenges. The number one central document proposes eight measures to build infrastructure, such as roads, water supply, and sanitation facilities in rural areas. Public services, such as education, healthcare, and social security will also be improved. Building a moderately prosperous society in all respects requires China to tackle all these problems. The number one central document has outlined the goals, which will affect the lives of millions of Chinese farmers. But specific policies and detailed measures need to be worked out to help implement the document. All this and more will be discussed and deliberated during the upcoming two sessions. Let's look forward to finding out.